She reads while she's walking. One time she nearly wandered into traffic. You should talk. <laughs> you read the movies. Only the ones you dragged me to. Okay. Reading good, walking good. Reading while walking, not so much. Hey. Dr. Sam, famous writer. No, oh, you're the one. You're the one. That thing in uh, the Times Magazine last week was great. I sit on my ass all day. I have a lot of time to think. <laughs> Everything okay at home? Yeah. Still just the two of you? No, Mom does a lot of dating, because guys dig MS. Because this bruise on your arm, it looks like someone grabbed you. Hard. Well, if something wasn't right at home or school, I might be able to help. I suck at walking. That's the crisis. Don't freak out on me, Dr. Friedman. All right. Good news, Angie. Your test came back. Everything is fine. <sighs> you are fertile, and you still have plenty of viable eggs left. Okay, that's... I was worried. It's great. It's great, honey. But um, does, does that mean I'm the reason that we can't have a baby? Let's not race to any conclusions. We're just going to run some tests on you, Ray, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Two doctors. It's got to be a good sign. Yeah. Since and twins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start with the sperm sample. Uh, Dr. Benedin? Sam? Oh, yo, he's busy with the patient. Can you call him on the, uh, the, the... Intercom? Yeah, is it is it urgent? Does it not look urgent? I walked here on foot. It is urgent hospital business. Okay. I don't know if you can count insomnia as hospital business. I've had three hours in three days. The place wouldn't run without me. Not that you care about that. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Aphasia. Yeah, that comes with sleep deprivation. Obviously, I cannot do my job if I can't m uh, make words. Words. All right, any shortness of breath when you lie down? And chest pains? No, and no. I run all the tests, thyroid, everything, it's it's all fine. I just keep getting worse. Yesterday, I parked my car somewhere. I can't find it. <laughs> it's not funny. This got out of St. Ambrose that the chief of staff cannot be misplacing heavy machinery. I can prescribe a sleep aid. No pills. They don't work for me. Well, there are some new options. No pills. Had a little problem. What kind of a problem? The kind I'm not talking about anymore. Can oh. you help me or not? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, well, I guess we could go with the alternative route. I could speak to Pete. <sighs> Fine. Send me to the quack. I don't want to date. I mean, I do, but I want someone with purpose, someone real, someone... Who wants a future? Someone who wants kids? Is that desperate? No, no, it's not desperate. It's focused. Right? My point is, you are out there looking. Oh. I mean, even Violet is out there looking. Maybe I should be out there looking for what I want. Okay, and what you want is a husband and kids. Dr. Bennett, Dr. Montgomery. Angie, raised up uh, at the lab still, but good news, those tests are viable. Everything's going to be fine. Yep, there should be no reason why the two of you can't get pregnant.